welcome to HKB, I'm Leon, and this is the channel where we go to Hong Kong and beyond. Today we'll be continuing my rundown of my favourite on-screen shootouts ever. So if you haven't seen any of these so far, please make your way back to number 10, which is where we started. And the first film was Scarface, which was then promptly followed up with 15 minutes of war and heat. I hope you enjoy what we do, and if you do, please consider hitting the like button and perhaps subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much. Well, on with the show. Here's number seven. Before we get into the episode, I'd just like to give a shout out to my friend Jason at Martial Art Theatre 3000. It's because of his Venom Mob ranking video that I decided to do a ranking video of my own. I like the format that Jason used, putting out one video at a time in his countdown. And I did ask Jason and he was very supportive as he always has been of our channel. So a big shout out to him and if you haven't seen any of his Venom Mob ranking videos, then I suggest you stop this one right now, hop on over there and watch some of those because they are really, really good. And when you finish, perhaps come back here and give this one a watch. Thank you so much, Jason. We really appreciate you. As for this video, this shootout introduces us to the bogeyman of the assassin world. That's right, folks. We're talking about John Wick, starring Keanu Reeves. This film, which was produced by 8711, now 87 North, was something of a revelation when it came out. To me, I thought I'd seen gunplay done in every possible method. But this film, directed by Chad Staleski, was a breath of fresh air. And Keanu Reeves, he underwent some severe training for this film. He had four months of martial arts and gun training, eight hours a day. He really, really committed to it. The scene that I have picked is the scene in the Red Circle nightclub. Wow, that scene just blew me away. You might think, well, there's other shootouts in John Wick, you know, two and three that have been better than that. But for me, the impact of this scene in this first film, which was really the showcase for this first film, was just incredible. Keanu looked fantastic, even though at the time I believe he was really ill with a flu. And according to the director, Chad, he didn't rest at all. You know, he didn't even sit down between takes. He just wanted to get on with it. And it pays dividends because he got so good with the guns that apparently he was better than actual military trained soldiers. What I personally like about the scene is the lighting and the setting. In a nightclub, it's such an unusual place to stage a gunfight and it seems like a bit of a deviant place because we have people in pool together and there's all sorts going on in there so again that adds a slightly different flavor to it and it builds it starts off slow with a bit of martial arts a bit of stabbing you know a bit of quiet assassination and then as soon as we get into the gunplay Keanu's doing his thing he's um reloading super quick like he was trained to do and picked up so proficiently and the close quarters combat even with the guns is fantastic so we're getting a bit of gun foo in there if anybody's ever seen equilibrium with christian bale that sort of thing not quite as pronounced as that scaled back and it looks so much better in this film the up close with the gun it's brutal little things like shooting somebody with a foot sticking out so you can then shoot them as they drop forward in pain. There's so much thought and so much imagination injected into this scene and it really gives us an idea of who John Wick is, just what a badass he is, just what he's capable of. I find this is without a doubt an essential film to go in anybody's top shootout or even top action movie list. This is um, Keanu Reeves in his finest, finest role for me. I mean, I love The Matrix, and apparently Chad Stileski 
doubled for Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, so maybe they built up a bit of a relationship there. This shootout is an easy pick for my number seven in my top shootouts of all time. So join us next time and find out what's at number six. Are we finally getting some Hong Kong movies on the list? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.